Okay. Yeah, I I was hesitant to even get on here this evening because I am exhibiting very obvious sores. This was part of my mom's and my house struggles as well. So I'm going to try not to let it refrain me and I'm going to keep continuing to find the bright side here because it'd be real easy for me to uh, get lost in all the negative right now. But I, I found myself crying too for her help after she left. I said, Mom, I, I don't... Hush! Hold on. Hush! Go ahead from that goddamn door. <clears throat> I am... Um, ultimately, after my mother left, you gotta understand, guys, my whole situation, really. You know, and the fact that I longed for her to come in the first place, so for her to leave was, under the circumstances, was a heartbreaking experience, to say the least. And I held out for quite a while. And I tried to maintain and keep doing what I was doing, because I got a lot to do here. If you will, and no help. Especially now that she's gone. She was a big help while she was here, but now that she's gone, I've got nobody. Um, I don't want to fall apart. If I were to fall into my emotions, in my heart of hearts right now, I would fall apart. I assure you. It's only because I'm... I told you, we are capable of mastering our emotions and that is exactly what I'm trying to display here right now because guys, I could take a high road here or I could fall apart. Easily, I could fall apart right now. But I can and you can master your emotions. We can. No matter hard that might be no matter how difficult you can you can I'm sure you can just like I can and that's exactly what I'm trying to do right now I uh, found myself falling apart just just like in calling my mother falling apart and telling her I needed her I found myself falling apart when she left said so, hey my my spirits were just being uplifted, Mom. And you left me, you were angry at me, and now I'm depressed, I'm overwhelmed. That's truth, guys. What can I do? She didn't turn around and pop that back in my driveway, like I hope. So here I sit. Nobody to fucking help me. Nobody. So, once again, let me remind you, count your fucking blessings. Disguise despite no matter how many times I count them and rely on synchronicity. I keep looking at the back, cry on I listen to it. When I'm down and out like this, like I am now, I listen to so many cry on teachings. It's not funny. That's like Abraham makes me laugh, so does Bashar. Cryon speaks to my heart. He like speaks volumes to my heart. Guys, right, so you got anything negative to say? That's not my thing. You know, your judgment calls are not mine. And so please leave them at the doorstep. I don't need to hear you. If you can relate, please leave a comment down below. But you know, that's what helps me through everything I must deal with. This cry on like your daddy or creator, prime creator speaking to you or like your grandpa. And he speaks volumes to my heart. And like when I'm going through rough times like I am right now, those are the things I listen to. And then Abraham makes me laugh. She makes me laugh my ass off, matter of fact. I listen a lot about uh, with Elisa and channeling Eric. Um, 
There's no way to say for sure who's correct, but I have no judgment call on that, and I'm open-minded. And I assure you, these are the things that get me through. So that's really not your call. It's how I feel, and I'm entitled to my opinion. So I said, leave your opinions elsewhere if they're negative, because I'm not in the mood to deal with them. I will quickly delete your comment. Thank you. Um, if you're open-minded, though, I'm going to tell you what pulls me through. You know, some of the stuff I was listening to with Cryon, you know, given the nature of my illness, etc. It's about recalibration. Matter of fact, I'll have to do that link up for you guys, for anybody interested that is perhaps going through what I'm going through, that needs some assurance as well. You know, I, I looked in several, like, spiritual teachings before as to what, you know, our bodies are changing, our DNA is changing, we're upgrading. Um, to a crystalline nature, perhaps that's what's going on with the Morgellons. I don't know. I've always tried to look for a blessing in disguise here, guys. And I'm going to continue to do just that because I know it does no good to seek out it. And so, that said, I will share that with you all for those of you that might like because it sounds like perhaps, regardless of your illness, your disease, and Kryon's always real big about talking to yourselves and, like, reaching yourself on a personal level and healing yourself, right? Is that perhaps there's another way. Perhaps. I, I don't know. Guys, maybe it's theoretical. I, I, I don't know. But, you know, when you're put in circumstances like I am, all you got left is that small glimmer of hope. And I'll take what I can get. Cryon speaks to my heart and he was speaking about recalibration maybe perhaps Mark Ellens is that recalibration no matter how horrific it may seem perhaps perhaps I'm just saying perhaps I'm not saying it's definitive guys by any means but perhaps could be maybe I, I, I don't know I'm just trying to cling to that ray of hope. So, don't knock me if you're not feeling it. Just move along. Alright? It won't serve either of us any justice. Uh, it's fine. Solitude within our differences. Just go. Go along. Because I've never been about followers or your opinion. Anyway. I'm just documenting my Morgellons journey and my stuff as I go. So, it really matters not to me one way or another. I can only hope that I can help somebody else along my journey. Much love. As always, Snugglebug, Angel.